Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm coming to do something with the packaging material. Uh, I am taking piece by piece from my boxes uh, in a cellar. My sons had to tidy up my room uh, for me and my crutches a few weeks ago. And they store everything in a cellar, including my open projects and everything what I wanted to sell. So now I had to, you know, I have to kind of piece by piece to bring it back. And as I am not properly, what is that right word, uh, mobilized. <laughs> I guess so I'm taking just really small pieces and today I grabbed these and I was like whoa look at me what I had there just packaging and I love to create something from packaging unfortunately I didn't use packaging for such a long time and I do have so many of these these are from uh, paper doilies I had their small circle paper paper doilies they were uh, really beautiful and this will be probably four or five years old so in those boxes, they really, that's kind of like getting vintage, all these pieces. So today I'm going to be creating something from packaging material. These cards are perfect. They are strong. They are perfect base for stickers, for washi tapes. So when I was printing uh, my designs, I forgot to check my printer and I've been left in printer with the papers which I am using for printing out my shipping labels. As you can see that paper it's divided on four so always you know shipping labels and I forgot to check my printer. So my designs when I tried to print have been printing on this paper and I do have a few more. Uh, I do have actually a, a lot of more of these <laughs> so i'm gonna be using those and i would like to show you also uh, if you do buy printer uh, labels like these these are self-adhesive labels designed for printers or made for printers so you can print your labels on it i did use these sheets and i did use tim holtz stamps and uh, sample stamps and tyler made journals stamps all kind of numbers and look what i do have i did enjoy it very very much to create this sheet you know i wanted to try and i will maybe use also uh, some of these blue papers which i do have on my etsy uh, i will put links down below for uh, any kind of digitals i will be using here and i can try to create something from these little packages it's quite you know it's quite large piece of paper how about some some pocket yeah i'm gonna create a pocket out of this i would like to cover this one so it will be on this side and this is kind of like very glossy that will be perfect base for these papers actually because they do get stick on glossy background as well really well as well really well i'm gonna grab this one this is from my grungy linnet papers collection and i really love that collection actually So I'm gonna put this one here. And here um that will be pocket at the front. I do have this strip here, so I'm gonna use that. And I do have a lot of washi tapes. So I'm gonna make some washi tape strips here and cover it with washi tapes. And maybe one more. So then it will be folded this way. Uh, I need to cover this, that I'm gonna do later. Right now, um, I would like to create 
a little window here. I like uh, pockets with windows. And uh, I do have here this oval window or oval paper punch. It's 1.5 inch and I think I can fit here. So I'm going to do a little bit different way window. I'm going to be using my paper punch the way which I showed you a few times already. So I'm going to punch one oval here. This could be beautiful embellishment. I'm gonna punch another oval from this. But before I will do so, I'm gonna kind of draw a line, kind of keep, you know, the distance between my fold here. Let's say, and this looks like this one ish so now i know how i should put my paper punch on this side and punch and again i do have decorative uh, oval i can either glue them together and create one beautiful hanging oval or i can put some uh, decorative paper here and have one side with these stickers and other side maybe for writing and now i'm gonna get up ruler and knife or scissors and i'm gonna just cut between those ovals So you don't have to have exact um, exact die or paper punch for the space you need to create a window. And here, well, I'm going to call this as my tag. So this I can use as a tag at some point. I do have those washi tapes here. So I do have prepared tap, I do have two ovals, and I do have prepared little window. Before I, before I will use my Distress Ink, I'm going to use Embossing Folder. I do have here this beautiful, very old collection from Sizzix. This is mail set, it does have four uh, different embossing folders in different sizes. Some of them are really small, but they do create beautiful embossed effect. So I'm going to use... Here uh, I do have a return address and zip code and I would like to place it here so it will be above that, uh, that pocket and this I'm thinking to place later on this side kind of like it will be maybe postcard in the style of postcard. So I'm going to emboss this and then I'm going to put embossing Folder. Not, not yet. First, I'm going to emboss this side. So I do have embossed that part. And immediately when I said that it can be like postmark, uh, postcard, when I place this one here, uh, I remember that I do have this beautiful collection from uh, Tim Holtz postcards. And I think I used that maybe twice, three times. I, you know, I didn't have too many chances to use it. So I'm going to use it today. Uh, I'm going to cover this spot and I'm going to take one of my colored uh, tapes. This is medical tape, surgery tape. I will put link down below for UK and US Amazon where I found uh, this tape. It's wonderful. I did, uh, it's uh, normally it's clear, <laughs> it's quite clear, it doesn't do, they don't sell it this way, this colored way, they do sell it in a clear way, <laughs> like this, you know, for surgery, <laughs> so you will don't have surgery with this thing, and I did use alcohol ink, and I did ink it to this uh, beautiful grungy color, oh, I like it, look at that. So, now I can use some stamp and stamp it over 
and because I did use uh, this tape uh, I will need to stamp it a few times actually to make sure that it's visible I'm gonna be using this uh, design this one uh, now I'm using I'm gonna be using for stamping uh, my stamping platform because this way I can actually repeat my stamping a few times yeah and make it more visible I do have stamped image and I did also that embossing I'm gonna take my distress ink and distress all that card quite heavily like this and I do have here bottle with water I'm gonna spray over it and let this dry and this is how it looks uh, when it's dry I did use my heating tool to dry it a little bit and it got a little bit wrinklish it's still wet here at this spot and this got ripped so I had to back it with that uh, medical tape but I actually like it even more with this one so now uh, I'm gonna distress the edges all around and I'm gonna put a piece of acetate sheet here in the back I'm gonna be using some old acetate back actually for this and I left here here it's piece of that uh, glossy paper that packaging paper because it's glossy it doesn't take distressing ink so I'm gonna use my nail file and I'm gonna sand it a little bit and try it one more time yeah it looks a little bit better oh I forgot this is still a little bit wet look at that <laughs> okay now that piece of acetate so I do have my acetate in and I'm gonna color that acetate but from inside I don't wanna put a uh, the alcohol ink on this side I want to keep it in this color so I'm gonna color that acetate piece with alcohol ink I'm gonna be using brownie again from octopus and I will color this inside of that and I can put that left over on my little labels look at that they do look quite awesome aren't they so when I will glue it all together it will looks like this I like that vintage look and I also like that it got uh, kind of like soaked that alcohol ink here in the bottom it does make beautiful uh, bottom part of that pocket and the blue and brownie it's not touched with that alcohol ink which I actually like so now I can take sewing machine and do sewing here on this side so I do have sewing done I did first stitch this edge of my pocket then I folded it and I did may uh, did stitched around these three sides with that I have created that pocket then I added one label here from my label sheet which I did show you before now uh, I pull out this book I'm kind of forgetting to use those books with those beautiful stickers there is lots of amazing images I just did fussy cut out this butterfly and I'm thinking to use it um, as an embellishment um, not long time ago I think it was in that collaboration video where I created all kind of embellishments using resin so I was thinking maybe I can do it here as well so I'm gonna glue this sticker on the cardstock here and fussy cut out with that cardstock 
but not yet. I'm gonna actually first place resin on that butterfly and I'm gonna do it here as well I'm guessing on these two pieces created as a resin piece so on the Amazon I did both this resin and this is UV lamp which will help me to cure that resin so very easy way I'm just gonna apply the resin on that butterfly and then cure it with that UV lamp same I'm gonna do with those ovals I do have resin pieces done. I also glued on the back uh, side of these ovals, ovals from cardstock. And I'm gonna make these as an embellishment, as little charms, by poking the hole and placing there an eyelet. And now I can store them actually in this pocket, just to make sure that they will get into that uh, into the journal once I am ready. I can add there also chain or string or something like that. <laughs> and I do have first thing for my journals done, pocket and little embellishments. And also tag, I forgot that tag. I'm going to slide it here for now. And I'm gonna take second piece, exactly same card. Now I'm gonna fold it on half this way. I'm gonna actually cut off this end because I don't need it there. So I'm gonna make it slightly shorter here. And I'm gonna also fold this. Mm, on five inches yeah just little fold now one side i'm gonna cut off like this this will be folded that way I'm gonna take paper punch and punch the corners and I'm gonna cut this one smaller Corners, all of it, okay, it will create beautiful frame, so I have cut it with same paper punch, all four corners, oh, here I forgot, look at that, so, all four corners, actually on both sides, and I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this one for now and I'm gonna cut window uh, first in one side then I will fold it and trace it and cut the window on that other side so uh, I would like to have there uh, here I use the edge of this to have an edge of the window and I would like to have the same corners in that window so I'm using this little label and I'm kind of tracing 
those corners here so straight lines I will cut with knife and that end I will cut with small scissors and now I can fold it draw the frame on that opposite side and cut, cut it on that opposite side so I do have cut those two windows I'm gonna get up my decorative papers and I'm gonna decorate the frame with these here I'm gonna take this one and just glue it over and the sides I will cut off and the inside here I will I do have a reinforced tag here. I will see if I will use this. And this I'm gonna decorate with my tap. Look at that. I can use that tap and place it right here. I'm gonna distress it first and I'm gonna distress the tap as well and now I can glue it on my uh, composition here on that little tack so. I'm gonna glue it here Use a paper clip and clip it over and let it dry like this. And now I'm gonna distress these pieces and kind of start to put it all together. Here I would like to create a kind of like hidden paper clip. That's why this hinge here. Here will be placed those paper clips. Don't have to distress this one. I need to distress this probably, or use alcohol ink on it, or I can try to keep it this way. It may well actually work. So I'm gonna put distress ink on the edges and also on the edges in that uh, window now here inside uh, I'm gonna add acetate piece I do have here piece from um, acetate back which I used a few times already on windows in my project. So I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to glue that piece here over these two windows. So I'm going to put the glue, uh, put the <laughs> double sided tape here on the top and here on the bottom all the way and also on each of these sides here here and here now 
I can take my acetate piece and place it over and I will cut anything what will be around. So everything what is uh, over the edge I'm gonna cut off. Okay, so I do have a base. I'm going to just fold it over and I'm going to be using my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this piece here, here and here on this edge. So I will have pocket from this side. So I do have window here, window pocket. Now I would like to create this one as a, as a hidden paper clip. So for that I need just piece of book page. I'm going to fold it smaller than is this. And I'm going to cut the piece which will fit inside. Don't have to be even that big. I'm gonna grab one paper clip and I'm gonna slide it over. This is kind of like longer, so I'm gonna place it a little bit um, on the side. And here I can use either double sided tape and cover uh, with double sided tape around or over that. Uh, paper clip or I can use normal glue um, and put the normal glue around it. I'm gonna be using double sided tape. I do have just the, this one quarter of inch double sided tape but if you do have bigger use bigger. Just cover all that and from the other side as well and just to make sure you saw properly where I placed that uh, paper clip. When it's folded, I placed that paper clip over that folded edge. So now I can glue this here. So now do not make a mistake. I do have open edge here. So I'm going to place it right there in that fold and fold this over and glue it all together. So now that last piece, here I do have this one and I would like to place it right there as a decorative piece. I can stamp on it or I can put some uh, decorative label or maybe some washi tape. I'm going to have a look what I do have and I will decorate it somehow. I do have here this beautiful pet tape so I'm thinking to use something from here. Oh, this one could be beautiful. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to place it right here. So I'm going to put double-sided tape on that back side and place it here. I will try to be good with placing, with positioning, kind of-ish. And I just realized uh, next time I'm going to be a little bit more careful 
or a little bit more slow with placing this mechanism you know that holding of paper clip because right now i would punch the hole for eyelet here and hang there probably that butterfly <laughs> because it's already glued i'm gonna keep it this way um i'm gonna grab my stamped labels and place here some stamped label here and over the edge here and i think i'm gonna add here these gorgeous stickers i had them last year on my etsy and they were quite a uh, hit on my etsy they are beautiful really beautiful so i'm gonna use this beautiful uh, oh my the name of this one what is the name of this one it's not butterfly and i knew that just right now i do have brain freeze kind of like big window in my head and i'm gonna place her here like this And one stamp. Geneva. Oh. And that's my little sharing for today. Made from packaging. We do have hidden paper clip with the window and with the pocket. Here I do have that pocket, so if I will uh, want to add that this little tag, I can do so. Or I can keep it like a window paper clip and I don't have to put the tag inside. Or I can place inside these little embellishments. Then I do have that tag from leftovers from these windows and I do have this cute little pocket. So that's all my sharing for today. Thank you so, so much for visiting me and staying with me. Uh, I wish you all beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.